Big news coming out for Social Security as it looks like the cost of living adjustment for 2025 has just increased. This just coming out today, April the 10th, 2024. So if you're somebody that collects Social Security, regardless of if it's retirement, SSI, SSDI, any of the fixed income benefits, you're going to want to see this video. Let's take a look at the headlines coming out just today. Social Security's cost of living adjustment estimate rises, but seniors could struggle as inflation heats up. And this is a direct result of the data that came out today. Take a look at this. Inflation came in hot at a 3.5% for March. That is higher than they were anticipating the CPI report shows. Now here's what it means for the Fed rate cuts and basically the Fed rate cuts confidence wobbles as elevated inflation persists. This means that the cost of goods it is still going up. Inflation is not going away and that means there's going to need to be more assistance for those on the Social Security fixed income benefits and that means that there could be a bigger cost of living adjustment. However, that means that at the present time, those depending on these benefits, they might be suffering. And a lot of people are still asking, will there be that $2,400 per year increase that we saw proposed in the Social Security Expansion Act, that additional $200 per month that we heard from the Biden administration back in 2020? Will we see that come to fruition? Well, I will keep you up to date. But one of the things we have heard a warning on is that you might want to file your taxes even if you receive only Social Security. That and that is because the cost of living adjustment is increasing benefits and the tax brackets are remaining the same and a third of those on SSDI they need to file their taxes. They will owe, we're hearing. And stick around to the end for some more updates on that. But let's go ahead and get you caught up on the latest as to what's unfolding with a potential bump up coming for the 2025 cost of living adjustment. And before we dive in, do me a quick favor. If you appreciate the updates, don't forget, take a quick second, hit that like button for me. Helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Hit subscribe to stay up to date. It's totally free. Why not? And to stay connected off of social media platforms, consider joining the newsletter at www.steveramnews.com. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so link in the description below to this article that came out today. As you know, I cite all the sources, put it on the screen, and read right from it so you can see it for yourself and know it is the latest. Now, this article says the latest estimate for Social Security's cost of living adjustment, or COLA, for 2025 rose to 3% after the government reported hotter than expected inflation in March. New calculations showed on Wednesday today. Now, the higher COLA, this adjustment was the third this year following the reacceleration of inflation each month in 2024. The 2025 COLA estimate was 1.75 in January and 2.4 in February, and now we're hearing that it is 3.5 in March, so it is steadily increasing and accelerating. The Consumer Price Index, or the CPI, is a broad measure of goods and services costs. It rose to 3.5% in March from a year earlier, according to a government data report on Wednesday. That's up from 3.2% percent in February and more than 3.4 percent average forecast for economists. So-called core rate, which strips out the volatile food and energy prices, rose 3.8 percent on the year, flat from February, but above predictions for 3.7. And as I mentioned, this is going to directly impact Social Security's cost of living adjustment. Take a look. COLA is based on the subset Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, or CPIW. That figure jumped in February to 3.5%, up from 3.1% in the prior reading and outpacing the 3.2% COLA Social Security recipients began receiving in January. So in other words, the cost of living adjustment of 3.2% that you received for 2024, it is not keeping up with inflation as of right now, March of 2024. That means older consumers, they are losing buying power, says Mary Johnson, a retired Social Security and Medicare policy analyst. And again, all the things that seniors spend the most on saw some of the sharpest gains as well. Shelter rose 5.7% year over year. Hospital services jumped 7.5%. The highest since October of 2010, the Bureau of Labor Statistics data showed. Transportation services rose 10.7% and electricity jumped 5%. Now, how is the COLA calculated? The Social Security Administration bases its COLA each year on average annual increases in the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, or CPIW 
AEW from July till September. So right now we're seeing this increase as we enter into those months that will determine the cost of living adjustment for all Social Security recipients. The index for urban wage earners largely reflects the broad index the Labor Department releases each month. Although it differs slightly, last month while the overall consumer price index rose 3.5%, the index for urban wage earners increased 3.5%. Now, what was the cost of living adjustment for 2024? As you recall, older adults received 3.2% bump ups in their social security checks at the beginning of the year to help recipients keep up with pace of inflation. That increased the average retirees benefit checks by about $59 per month. And again, many saying that is simply not enough. Seniors are falling more behind. Cost of living adjustment is meant to help Social Security recipients keep pace with inflation so their standard of living doesn't deteriorate. But it hasn't worked in reality. Poverty has increased among Americans age 65 and older to 14.1% in 2022 from 10.7% in 2021, which was also the largest jump among any age group, according to the latest U.S. Census Bureau data. And now, with March inflation outpacing the 3.2% cost of living adjustment recipients received this year, seniors are falling deeper into the red. That makes retirement anything but carefree for many, said Johnson. And with tax season coming to a close on Monday, more seniors likely discovered that they owe taxes on their Social Security checks this year. The 5.9% cost of living adjustment increase in 2021 and the 8.7% increase in 2023 and a 3.2% rise this year increased people's incomes. How much of your Social Security is taxed depends on how much income you have. Some states may also take a cut as well. And since income thresholds that subject Social Security benefits to taxation have never been adjusted for inflation since the tax became effective in 1984, more and more older taxpayers are becoming liable for tax on Social Security benefits over time, and the portion of taxable benefits can increase as retirement income grows, Johnson said. And as I mentioned, that is why many are saying that the current cost of living adjustment is simply not enough. We need to see increases across the board of an additional $200 per month or $2,400 per year. That bill was proposed. The Social Security Expansion Act still has not gotten traction in Congress. I will keep you up to date as we had heard promises that there would be increases across the board. And also, we've heard that those tax brackets, they have not changed, but the benefits are increasing and people owe taxes. And they're saying a lot of people that collect Social Security, they're going to need to file their taxes. And you've got a little bit of time left to get that done if you have not done so yet. And to get more information on that and the latest coming out, be sure to check out this video right here next as I covered it in detail for you yesterday regarding taxation and Social Security. So check out that video next if you haven't yet, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.